Well, we're sitting here with David Allen, uh, the former zoo director of the Blank Park Zoo, and uh, I think you can probably hear behind me the the five male greater prairie chickens on it's a lek uh, on private property, and uh, just this morning was the first time that a female has flown into this lek this spring, so uh, we've been watching her play hard to get out there with the five males. We got here about. 5.30 so that we could get in the turkey blinds before the sun came up and we first started to hear them booming and calling um, before we before there was daylight. So we're at the breeding lack which is where uh, the males come to display. It's, it's a location that the birds choose. Um, it's usually where the grass is short and, and uh, high up on a hill in a very exposed area. And they start calling and, uh, and the females uh, come, come towards the sound to the lek. And the leks uh, can move, but basically uh, they're established and used uh, year after year. Another uh, neighboring turkey blind, uh, Chris Henson, is uh, the zoo staff person that um, was hired for the summer to work with the Iowa DNR to do a habitat assessment to see if the area around Kellerton can be um, can support a, a larger population and justify uh, translocating some birds from Kansas or Nebraska to help uh, bolster the population. It's part of the zoo's Coins for Conservation program where um, we get uh, 25 cents from each admission and the, and the visiting public gets to choose what program they'd like um, their, their money to go to. And uh, we have three projects at the zoo that the people get to choose from and helping uh, sustain the, the wild greater prairie chicken population in Iowa is uh, one of those programs.